in some of the early videos, I gave you a silly example where I said one one giraffe neck equals three meters. So uh, so you could write it like this. Now, when when you double the amount of giraffe necks, you um, you also double the amount of um, of meters. When you triple the amount of uh, giraffe necks, you also triple this amount. When you half this, um, you, you also half this. Um, you, you see, whenever you have this kind of relationship, um, where where you increase this, this also increases, and when you half this, this also half. Um, you can say that uh, giraffe neck is proportional to uh, to meters. Okay, so so this is just a way for us to um, to express how one thing is related to another thing. You can't we can't use equal because we can't say one one giraffe neck equals uh, what equals one meter. Um, you see, we we have to use what's what's well. We have to say that this here is directly proportional to this, and this directly proportional thing is just a way for us to say that it's just a way for us to express how one thing is related to another thing. So so let's let's have a look at this example here. One mile equals um, equals uh, uh, equals one point six kilometers. When you double this, you also double this. When you triple this, you also triple this. When you half this, you also half this. When 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 you have zero mile, you also have zero kilometer. So so this here, you can you can see that it it um it, it it has that kind of relationship where where you increase this, you also increase this. You decrease this, you also decrease this. So you can say that well because it has that kind of relationship, we we can say that mile. Is um is directly proportional to kilometers, okay? Um, let's look look at look at this case here. This here is not so. Let, let let's say let's say three three people takes five hours to dig this one hole here. Um, if you double the amount of people here, um, you're gonna you, you're not going to if you look at people people here and uh, and time over here. Uh, time to take to dig this hole. You can't say that uh, people, the number of people, is directly proportional to the to the time. Because in this case, if you if you double the amount of people, you you decrease the time. If you double the people, you decrease the time. So so you can't say that the number of people is um, is directly proportional to the uh, to the time. It, you can't use this in this case because uh, well, if you look at the previous two cases. Um, this increases, then this also uh, increases. Whereas down here, if you increase this, you decrease the time. So, so you can't use people, uh, the number of people. Uh, well, you can't use directly proportional in, in this case. Now, in this case here, let's um, let's say you 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 got a bicycle here. Um, the uh, the revolutions it, it, revolutions means the number of turns. Uh, so so here. If you have one revolution, it means one turn of a wheel. Okay, so one one revolution uh, means one turn of a wheel. Now let's say one revolution, you can travel um, five meters in this direction here. Okay, so you can say one one revolution five meters. Um, two two turns of of the wheel, you would travel ten meters. Three revolutions means well you travel. 15 meters. If you have no revolution, then then you're not you, you you're going to have zero distance. In this case, um, you can say that uh, revolution is directly proportional to the distance traveled. Okay, so 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 whenever you see this here, you 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 have a good idea of the re, of the relationship between between whatever's here and whatever's here. Okay, so you, you can. So you, whenever whenever you see one thing is directly proportional to another thing, you can immediately jump to a graph. Okay. So whenever you see something is directly proportional to another thing, you can jump to a graph, and and it, and it will be a straight line. So for example, one revolution here, you can travel four meters. Okay. Hang on. Um. Two. Two. Um. Two uh two revolutions you travel eight meters. Uh three revolutions you travel um you you would travel twelve meters. So it's well here w w whenever you see um let's say x is directly proportional to y, you can immediately jump to a a, a graph where 
where where it will it will be a straight line. Uh, this is x. Uh, this is y here. And wh whenever you see a straight line, it's y equals um, m x plus c. But but uh, when, when one thing is directly proportional to another thing, when you have zero when you have zero revolution, you, you have zero distance. When when you have zero mile, you you're gonna have zero kilometers. When you have zero um, zero giraffe neck, you're gonna have zero meters over here. So it it, it it passes through the origin. So you can pretty much forget about the C here. So you can you can imagine it as y equals m x only. So when whenever you have x is directly proportional to to y, you can immediately jump to this. Okay, and well, in, in most books, they, they would say y equals uh, k x. The, the, for some reason, they use k instead of m. So, um, so this k here is what's called the constant of proportionality. So, if you look at our bicycle scenario here, the gradient here is four. So here, you you, you can say distance um, um, equals four. Uh, whatever this thing here is, Let, let's say r. Uh, well, let, let's let's say this is y and this is x here. You can say that y equals four x. Okay, and and this four here is the gradient because the the height here is four, the across here is one. Well, this this four here in 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 our bicycle case here, in our bicycle scenario, four is a constant of proportionality. Okay, so my my point is that when whenever whenever someone says um, well uh, x is is directly proportional to y, you can immediately jump to a graph. Okay, and and it will it will be a straight line. Okay, and th and this line here will be in the form of y equals uh, k x. Now this k here is a gradient of the graph, and this k here is called the constant of proportionality. Okay, so 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 this directly proportional thing is uh, is just a way for us to express how how one thing is related to another, and it's very useful in real life because. Um, Oh, oh but, but by the way, um, yeah, in, in our in our kilometer in our miles kilometer case above, um, th this here you, you can say kilometers equals well the gradient here is um, is one point six one point six um, uh, times the the number of miles. Okay, so so here one point six is your constant um, constant of proportionality. Um, so, so earlier we said that um, well, whenever you say whenever you see one thing is uh, is directly proportional to another thing, jump to inside your mind, jump to a, a straight line graph, and then the gradient. Uh, yeah, sorry. Whenever you see this, you can you can immediately jump to let's say y equals k x something like this. Um, so, so, so whenever you see this, you can imagine a straight line graph. Which means you you could also imagine this. Now this here is a gradient, okay. In 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 this miles kilometer case, the uh, the constant of proportionality is one point six, and and it's use it's very useful. Uh, this um this constant of uh, sorry this direct this directly proportional thing is very useful in real life because there are many there are many scenarios in real life where you can say oh d here the distance of the uh, the, so the, the diameter of a tree trunk is directly proportional to the age of the tree. So so um, so the uh, the the bigger the diameter, the older the tree is. So this this is a good way. Of, well, we, we can say that the the diameter of a uh, a tree trunk is directly proportional to its age, meaning that the the the, the smaller the diameter, the younger the tree. The uh, the bigger the diameter, uh, the uh, the, the older the tree, and this is true in real life. Um, there, there's also another example where where you um, where where you see the the extension when you put a weight on a spring. This is a spring here. You you will you will stretch your spring. There, there will be an extension. Okay, this here will be an extension. Well, the extension is directly proportional to the uh, to the to the mass here to whatever you attach to the weights that you attach to the spring. So the extent the extension is directly proportional to the um, to the uh, to the weight of of the uh, to the weight of whatever is attached to the, sp uh, the spring. Okay.